also we have definitely been here before. We have indeed, the Amesbury and Military Camp Light Railway. Mm -hmm. One of the first vlogs that we did on this channel yep. four years ago Blimey. was from this location. Now, ever since that time, four years ago, there's been one aspect of this light railway that's been bugging me ever since, literally four years. And it's just up ahead where the railway starts. Bit of a mystery. Aye. So I definitely don't want to sort of remake old videos on the channel. That's completely not the point because people can still go back and watch these sort of videos, can't they? Yes. Oh definitely. god, this is like a super lovely little bench in the middle of nowhere. But oh my god, it's hot, isn't it? It is a bit warm today. <sighs> Should we just carry on walking? Shall we? Okay. So let's give this some context. This little branch line has been eating away at me for four years, more specifically its junction with the main line. The West of England main line in fact. Now our branch line headed away from this and went on to Amesbury. As its name suggests it went even further onto the Bulford Camp, Ralston Camp and a balloon camp at Stonehenge. So why exactly has the junction of the Amesbury and Military Camp Light Railway been bugging me for four years? Well we're almost there now so let's have a look. Whilst Rebecca does some funky cinematography just to our left you can see the start of the, the branch line, you can see the embankment that went through this field very overgrown at the moment, that field of left fallow, um, but you can still see it quite clearly. And one of the interesting thing, when we started the video back at the, um, the, the sort of the covering there, massive cutting, wasn't there? It was really deep. Yeah, for a light railway, mm -hmm. the Amesbury and Military Camp light railway really did sort of make its scar on the landscape. Yep. Not often the case, sometimes a lot of the light railways we've seen before, they don't, and they're really difficult to sort of trace, aren't they? Right, we're nearly at Amesbury Junction, this is called. So it's an active railway ahead of us, the yep. Salisbury and Andover main line, uh, the West of England main line, London Waterloo to Exeter. Amesbury Junction is where we're heading, where the Amesbury branch line joined that main line. So you remember I said to you they built the line in 1901. The branch line to Ainsbury, joined the main line behind us here and only did so in one direction. Now a year later, reports suggest that they actually connected it in the other direction too, but what that meant was, if you look at the old maps, it looks like there is a tunnel underneath the main line so it can join the direction of travel towards Salisbury. They had two directions of travel thereafter. I find that really strange. And we could never ever find any evidence of that when we came before, but we didn't really look properly, we didn't have the same sort of resources. <clears throat> so today's journey is to see if they did actually bury a tunnel under the main line here so they could connect the Asian branch facing Salisbury. But first of all, before we do that, it says there's some old railway cottages on the map in that mm. little bit of wood there. So I'm just going to have a poke in there first of all, and then we'll get down to see if we can see the tunnel. Looking at the old map is quite difficult to ascertain exactly where the railway cottages were. I can't cross that fence just there because that's the main line. Um, straight down an embankment onto the main line clearly. But I can't see any evidence of the cottages here whatsoever. I'm going to have to abandon this um, cottage hunt and crack on with the tunnel. Also, don't want to go about Roman roads in a railway video, but Right now, alongside the railway, went a Roman road. You can see it or not, but um, right there, highly likely, that is a remnant of a 2,000 year old agar. The top bit of a Roman road, all along here, uh, the portway between sort of London down to Salisbury, Serum. Right there, woo Back to railways, sorry. We got Rebecca, we got. So we're going to give up on the cottages. I was just showing the lovely viewers the Roman road, which is to our right just there. Look, gorgeous as. <laughs> Can't go anywhere without a Roman road. Can't go anywhere without a Roman road, but that's fine because, you know. While exploring today, for the first time I think ever, Paul has done a small rip in his shirt. Just a small one. That, that's why I'm wearing <laughs> jeans on a day that's 27 degrees. <laughs> Right, so we're here, you can just about see on the other side where the line went 
down and towards under. Oh, hold on, hold on, Paul, Paul, Paul. Um, why don't you just do a map overlay? It's going to be much clearer for everybody. Yeah, good call. Hmm. So the 1902 amendment to this junction, which looks like it goes under the railway on at least two maps. They certainly indicate it went both sides. We're heading now down towards the crux of where that's going to be. So we'll find out if we can see anything to suggest that it did go under the railway because it's too bushy, too tree liney too over tree. there. Too tree. <laughs> too tree. Too many trees. You can't get over there. You might be wondering while I'm screaming at you saying, well, how come you can't get over there? Even if you could find a way round, the biggest issue we've got and the reason why there's no drone shots is because 20 yards across the railway there is port and down. Right, let's give some geographical context. I'm going to use a specific map, an old map, because it depicts the embankments and the cuttings really nicely. What is ahead of us now, I believe, is the alignment, if you're going from Salisbury that way, to Amesbury, so you branch off down here. That's flat, right? Yep, sorry. That fits. Now, in this um, past the junction here, where we're obviously not going to cross because it's uh, the railway, just down there, by those sleepers, it dips off hugely for seemingly no reason. And I'm wondering if that is X marks a spot on the diagram, one if that is there and the start of the tunnel underneath the railway, because it would have had to been a small tunnel to cross the railway at a diagonal, would have been just down here. I don't know how much we're gonna see this. Now, if I've got all of that right, we're now walking on the railway. We're walking on the railway that went off towards Ainsbury, down in the dip there. That is a massive dip is a big dip that's, that's good really news small pool right it's a big dip down there so we're almost certain down there would have been the railway right the key and the crux of all of this is 10 foot that way beyond that network rail fence we can't climb it we're not going to climb it do we know anybody at network rail maybe network rail southwest we just want to get over there just to see if it was an alignment that went underneath the main railway. Can we get down there? We can't. Whoa, 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 stop waffling, Paul. You're getting nowhere. Now, when I was editing this video and I was doing a bit more research, I posted a few things on social media and a lot of you came back and said, Paul, you're a complete idiot. Why haven't you bought that book yet? Well, we did buy that book. Of course, turned up in a post a day later and we turned to page 12 and mystery solved. Page 12 on screen now. Now when you look at page 12, you can see this beautiful picture of the steam engine heading under the line, heading towards Salisbury, but sadly, doesn't look like a tunnel, looks just like an overbridge. Bridge carrying the main line over the top. Bit disappointing, we thought there'd be much more of it, a bit of engineering involved with that, mm -hmm. and we'd find a good old tunnel underneath there, but at least we have got to the bottom of this mystery. Now the next question is, well, why did we make a video about this when we could have just ordered the book? Well, let's get back to Paul and Rebecca, who don't know the mystery solved yet, to tell you exactly why. See, it's only a short video today, but these are the sort of things that get stuck in my head, <laughs> and I feel like I need to get them out. I feel like some kind of therapy for me to, uh, get this off my chest. Does that make all of the people watching your therapists? <laughs> totally, yeah. I mean, yeah. I need to offload some of the stupid things in my head. For the last four years, I've been trying to get that little mystery out of my head. I am almost positive now that there would have been a tunnel under there, looking at the landscape properly, mm -hmm. looking over the railway from the other side. It all fits perfectly. Um, so yeah, thanks for listening to me, everybody. <laughs> it's been really appreciated. So not wishing to mock anybody that does have therapy. I probably need it myself. Um, I think but anyway, most people do. Yeah. Right. Onwards. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. I've been Paul. And I've been Rebecca. We'll see you next time.